Hi, I'm Baroness Von T. Do you nerd for cosplay? Shannon. 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 Shannon, I really had a chance. 
chance to actually talk earlier on during the con. So, like, tell everybody, like, the inspiration for this and how much time you put into it. Okay, um, so I think off and on over the past few days, we have for like eight hour, maybe ten hours. Um, there's not a lot of money in it, maybe fifty dollars, but um, the hat, the decorations done are my mom's Christmas decorations from last year. She had a really beautiful yes. tree. And um, <laughs> plus, <Love that. laughs> plus a little bit more hands on the back of so that's pretty much it. A lot that I have. Man, I can't wait. budget, and she looks amazing. Give her a round of applause. Hold on, 
probably hit people that I have no idea who they're playing. Nobody's going to know who I am, man. What are you just going on in the room? Thanks, dude. That's close, man. We're getting a drunken monkey up in here. That's close. Do you want to know what goes into it? Is anybody? Okay, there's like four figures that go into Hanu Man. Hanu Man, who's the monkey god of India? Sun Wukong, who's the monkey god of China? Jackie Chan, who's like kind of the, well, the monkey-ish god of drunken masters everywhere. And the dude from the Big Lebowski. <laughs> Someone who not only serves those in our nerd and geek community, but knows that there are people that would love to be a part of it if they just knew how to get connected. So someone that can be a connector for others. Someone who provides a safe place for people to express what it is that they enjoy about our nerd and our geek community. Someone who puts significant resources and time into building and developing and fostering the relationships in that community. And tonight we want to recognize someone who we feel is the exemplar, the first ever Lifetime Achievement Award winner for their contribution to our Nerd and our geek community. And to help talk a little bit more about that, we have one half of the Nerd Informants, Josh Grisham. He's going to come up. He's been one of our MCs for the day. He's going to talk a little bit more about not only the award, but a, a little bit about our recipient this year. You know, when it comes to when it comes to nerd culture and, and building and establishing something within the family, because everybody here at Geekmas is a family, without question. It takes, it takes somebody really special like our recipient tonight, I don't know, to look up to. When you're building your own brand, when you're building your podcast, when you're building your websites, you look to somebody that can guide you and really set the benchmark and be an example for what you do. And our recipient tonight that's going to receive this award really is just that all-encompassing from start to finish. And we put Nerd Performance together and we got an invite to Geekmas tonight. We heard about the recipient and it was easy. Greg, it was an easy decision to make, uh, agreed 100%. And this person, I mean, you just look up to them. Right. You look up to them without question. And you're going to hear a lot more about this individual. Very, very deserving. You're going to understand why by the time the award is given out tonight, why the decision was made. 100%. And to talk more about our recipient, alongside my words tonight, I'm going to run Keith up to the podium. Keith, pop culture minefield. Come on up here, bud. Go! Now it is kind of cozy, it's kind of cool because Hollywood's into it. 
But our recipient is someone that has seen both sides of that equation and still strove every day to be very inclusive, to be very welcoming, to help guide people in the path to nerd them and geek them in his own way. Um, I've known this person for quite a long time, and I got to say, when I was informed who it was going to be, I, I said, could there have been anyone else? Nobody else in my book. Nobody else that has literally have seen people go from grade school to college and has kept everyone in this community well informed, well entertained, even entertaining me once or twice. <laughs> during, you know. Anyway, um, I just I just cannot tell you how proud I am of him to be his friend and to have been a customer. So with that, I bring you our first recipient. Well, <laughs> Hawk will bring you Hawk our first you. recipient. It's the first recipient. So Hawk, please come on up here. Steve. Thank you, Keith. That was awesome. Thank, oh, you. Thank you to all the people that said all those wonderful things. When we set out to do this, I never thought this was going to actually affect me. I'm sitting here with nothing to say. Um, he said the Lifetime Achievement Award was not going to be an end of a career or they're getting old or... No, that's not what this is about. But like you said, and, and a lot of people in this room will understand, being a geek or a nerd, there were some lean years, people. Some of you folks, young folks, we love you, but y'all don't even understand. There were days when leaving the house was a debate with your parents. Not because they wanted you to leave the house, but because you didn't even want to tell your parents that you can't leave the house. And the person that's receiving this award has had our backs this day. I am honored to do this. And I'm not, I don't to say that very often. I'm proud to do this. And I think everybody here will understand why he's choked up. He's choked Why I'm choked up. So please, get up on your feet, clap your hands, show some love. The Lifetime Achievement Award. Decades. Los Angeles Service. The American Community. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh.
this is one of your discussions. I, wow. I said, let's do this. And they said, okay, talk about blindsiding the guy. <laughs> wow. I'm sitting so here do you have your around the world with my red balloon. <laughs> I take back that comment about you looking like Fred Sanford. Tell him, Mom. Don't you? <laughs> okay. Somebody can't do that. I mean, I can't. Oh, my gosh. It's not a major. Take your shoes off. Oh, awesome. Cool. Sweet. Okay, first of all, um, we had a cosplay come earlier, it was really fun. But one thing we never forgot to talk about, um, cosplay is sometimes difficult. Like I was saying earlier, walking out the house sometimes, it's rough. So let's give up some love and some applause for all of these wonderful people.
<laughs> so that sewing machine I thought was a great idea, and I don't know. Um, I hope you appreciate it. I Give do. it up for all your winners. Take a lot of it. Ha, 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 ha. 